Blue Dolphin here with Hoplite Security. And today I have some exciting news for the Greenbone vulnerability management platform. It has a new scanner module called Notice. Wow, let's talk about it. All right, so jumping right into things here. If you didn't hear, the Greenbone vulnerability management platform now has a new scanner called Notice. And in short, Notice is designed to help with local security checks, in particular on Amazon, Oracle, and Linux-based systems at this point. What makes it so special is that it has a massive boost to performance and consumes considerably less resources when doing those LSCs or local security checks. The reason why, in short, is historically, it had to do every single local security check individually. So if you did an authenticated scan, for example, and you're on a machine and there is a software, it would check for any exploits that could be exploited locally, but it would have to run a separate process and script for every single version of a binary or piece of software found on your Linux system. But now it's been updated. So what happens is via connecting remotely through SSH, the Greenbone vulnerability notice engine will actually take all the versions that it finds and then compare them kind of in the back end with a list of all vulnerable versions. And this will save spinning up tons of processes, consuming all this memory to do every single check for each version of a piece of software individually. So let's get into the details of it. Firstly, we had the official post here. And you can see here that Notice is very proud and just really talking about the fact that not only are they is Greenbone a world leader in open source vulnerability management, but now they have this latest scanner Notice. And it's a milestone, says the CIO, a massive increase in performance, and there's very little downside. Here, they talk a little bit about how customers had been requesting for quite some time better performance inversion checks, specific again for those local security checks. And historically, this would take quite a lot of time and consume a lot of resources. What makes this possible, the details will be JSON, or in this case, JavaScript files that actually house all this information in the back end. And the senior security or software developer Bjorn Ricks goes on to explain how historically they had to have a separate process for every single version check of a binary on your Linux system. That's a lot of work and a lot of processes. However, now it only loads the data it needs from JSON files. So it finds a version and then it checks its own little repository for the JSON files that talk that match that version and does a check to see if there's vulnerabilities. The CIO then goes on to talk about, again, just reiterating that this is a milestone. Very cool stuff. Okay, let's look at the next link here. And this is just a bit of a post that was somewhat historical, just talking about the upcoming change, the notice scanner. And again, it just talks about accelerating the time and reducing the overhead to help with finding those software version vulnerabilities. And then of course, patching them. I don't need to read all of this, but all the links will be included down below. This is very cool stuff. The next link that I'm excited to share just talks a little bit about the actual update, the notes. This is the roadmap. Let's take a look here. Now, we can see here in the change log, we have the latest patch. It was just released three days ago. And in this patch, they have clearly stated that the notice scanner is now implemented and it scans after every regular scan. So there's no user interaction required whatsoever. You won't even see an option for it. It just happens in the background. Now, in order for this to work, it's explained here that the device that's doing the scanning will need an SSH login to a target and OID, a specific OID within the SNMP protocol needs to be active. And the SNMP protocol stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. 
And the OID is a set of specific configurations within there. Okay, we learned that the notice scanner replaces the logic of NASL based security checks. NASL is the Nessus automatic scripting language, which historically would run a script for every single local security check for each software version that was found, whether it was vulnerable or not, it would check with an individual process, an individual execution. And that's a lot of resources and a lot of time. Well, that's not gonna happen anymore. What's key to note here is that notice data exists currently for the following local security check families, Amazon Linux, Oracle Linux, EULer, Swayze, Majea, never used Majea, uh, Slackware, and Rocky. Okay, let's jump over to the final resource for us to view, and this is going to be the GitHub page. So if you come over here, you can kind of learn what's required. And I just wanna back it up a little bit. There's two parts to notice, okay? There's the generator, which creates information about the vulnerabilities, the RPM and the dev packages in JSON files. And then there is the scanner. And the scanner takes these JSON files and loads them and parses them for information to match what it's found while it's doing those LSC checks. Very cool. You can read about this and we'll go through here. I'm gonna skip the details because we've already talked about a lot about this, but I do wanna point out that the notice scanner is implemented in Python and published under an open source license. Okay. As well, the, the green bone keeps the vulnerability information up to date via the feeds. If you don't know about the feeds, check my video about the green bone overview. I go over all that. All right, quick look at the installations. Obviously Python 3.7 and later will be used. Notice scanner does require poetry. I don't know anything about poetry. Let's take a look. It is a Python independency management. Oh, wow, that's cool. Py Python packaging and dependency management made easy. Look at that, that's awesome. So poetry, add pendulum. That's cool. So this kind of helps with getting your packages and your requirements. Very cool. You can do show tree to see current requests and the latest. That's very cool. I don't think I have it installed. Let's just take a look and try. I doubt it. Pretty sure I have to install poetry. Yeah, we'll go ahead and install poetry here. Hopefully this is quick, looks like it is accelerating through. And I just wanna take a look to learn a little more about poetry. So poetry is installed and we can do, let's do man or man poetry, pseudo po poetry. Okay, let's try pseudo, what is it? AP pros or no poetry, AP pros. So it's really not working. And what we can see is the same error every time from poetry console, import main. So I'm gonna do pseudo poetry just as is. Yeah, it doesn't work, that's fine. Not a big deal. Don't need to get fixated on that necessarily. I guess we can try poetry show tree. I don't think it's gonna work though. I think I'm gonna to have to mess around with this a little. It's just not going to work. I actually didn't do the dash dash there, but I don't think it's gonna work. Either way, this is very cool here. So it lets you track everything, all the dependencies that you've installed within Poetry. So I really like that. So use Poetry. Oh, maybe I have to run the build command here. Let's see, Poetry build. What will it do? No, <laughs> just nothing. Okay, that's fine. I'll do another video about Poetry here. Very cool stuff. You can see that there's a publish option as well. So that's very cool. And it apparently comes with all the tools, so we'll figure that out. Very cool stuff. But if we look, if we come back here, you can see that, oh, you know what? Let's actually just, install. actually, I'll do, it in, I'll do it in another video, next video, okay. So let's get past poetry. We've just talked a little bit about that. That's kind of the main thing that you need to have installed here in order to make it work. I don't wanna tie you up anymore. Just a quick summary on the notice scanner. I hope that helped. Please comment down below if that helped, and if there's anything you know about notice that I didn't cover, please, please let me and all the viewers of this video know, because this is a big deal. Let's share the information. Have a great week. See everyone in the next video.